practice phoneme blending. Listen as I say the sounds in a word. G, er, u. Now I will blend those sounds together to say a word. G, earl, girl. The word is girl. I'm going to say some more sounds or words sound by sound. I want you to blend those sounds together to say a word. W, er, d. Word. B, er, birth. T, er, n. Turn. N, er, s. Nurse. Er, m. Firm. W, er, k. Work. B, er, n. Burn. F, er, d. Third, we're going to review our vocab words for the week. The first word is leaped, which means made a big jump. What animal is leaping here? Yes, a frog. Our other word is stretched, which is extended a body part. Do that with me. Let's stretch like the boy is in the picture. He's stretching his arms up. Oh, that feels so good. Reach to the ceiling. Nice. We're going to talk about a skill now. And this skill is about words and phrases that have small differences in meaning. So, for example, um, in the story, a bird named Firm, they use the word great. It would be great to ride on the big white boat. Great is similar in meaning to the word good, but great means more than good. It means wonderful or extra special. Great has more intensity than good. So if we say something is good, we um, think it's 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 okay. But if we think something's great, it's extra special or wonderful. So it's better than good. So let's look at the word soaked in this sentence. Poor Fern was soaked when she got home. So here we see the word soaked. So how would Fern look if the sentence said damp instead of soaked? Well, damp means kind of wet. Remember how I had you touch your soil before? The word damp is kind of wet. Soaked means you're drenched. It's like it rained so hard or even you jumped in a pool. You're soaked from head to toe. So soaked means you're very, very wet. Well, damp just means it's wet. So we can use that idea to help us identify differences in words if a word and like compare the words together as well.